Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Shogun Mohammed. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakhir Palace this evening UAE Foreign and International Cooperation Minister, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayed Al Nahyan, Saudi Foreign Minister Adil bin Ahmed Al Jabir, Egyptian Foreign Minister Samah Shikri, accompanied by the Foreign Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, who are in Bahrain to hold a joint meeting of foreign ministers of the four countries. They conveyed to His Majesty the King greetings from their country's leaders and their wishes to Bahrain and its people for further development and prosperity. His Majesty asked them to convey his greetings and wishes to their leaders and their peoples for all progress and prosperity. His Majesty the King welcomed them in Bahrain, wishing their meeting luck and success. His Majesty also underlined their efforts in the fight against terrorism and extremism in order to support peace and security in the region and to address all their problems and to protect them from the policies of supporting and financing extremist groups and harboring terrorists that have caused serious humanitarian crises which led to displacing hundreds of thousands of people from their homes to face difficult and harsh conditions around the the world. His Majesty pointed out that the four countries have offered many martyrs in their fight against terrorism and in defense of their countries and peoples and in preserving the march of the Gulf Cooperation Council from any practices that may harm their countries or negatively affect their peoples or impede their achievements and to preserve the Arab national security and to confront with all the strength and steadfastness those who are trying to undermine it. He appreciated the efforts exerted by the foreign ministers in this regard for the good of the region and its security and stability. His Majesty the King affirmed that the King Kingdom of Bahrain stands united with its sisters in all its common positions and measures to face the challenges and risks. His Majesty the King also stressed that the strength and cohesion of Arab countries is based on their solidarity and in confronting all challenges. His Majesty stressed the need for solidarity among all countries to confront terrorism and demand the drying up of its sources of funding and the need to continue efforts and coordination and the regional and global levels to defeat and eradicate it. His Majesty also discussed with the foreign ministers the latest regional and international development the foreign ministers expressed their gratitude to His Majesty the King for his valuable directives and keenness to Bahrain's hosting of their meeting and said they look forward to take important steps that will contribute to strengthening the situation and enhancing their efforts, valuing the positions of the Kingdom of Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty the King in defending Arab issues and its contribution in protecting security and stability in the region. His Majesty the King held a dinner in honor of the foreign ministers of the United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia and the United Republic Egypt of Egypt. Based on the directives of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa to support people with disabilities, Youth City 2030 has organized for the second consecutive year SUMO, a program for people with mild intellectual disabilities. The program is organized by the Ministry of Youth and Sports in collaboration with Tim Keen and will be held in the Leadership Development Center. The Minister of Youth and Sports, Shamit Jodar, praised the support of his Highness Sheikh Nasser to people with disabilities and his aim to develop all Bahraini youth's personal abilities at the professional level. Al Jodar noted the success of the program's previous version. He also noted the wide participation which reflects the quality of the programs and activities. He added that the ministry is keen on developing the program and developing their personal abilities at the professional level. A joint meeting will be held in Manama tomorrow by the foreign ministers of the Kingdom of Bahrain, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates and the Arab Republic of Egypt. The meeting is in accordance with the agreements between the foreign ministers of the four countries at their recent meeting held in Cairo and within the continuous consultation and joint coordination on the ongoing efforts to stop Qatar's support of extremism and terrorism as well as to stop interference in the internal affairs of the countries of the region and to change its policies that support terrorism and undermine Arab national security and international peace and security.